Today I'm going to show you how to upload a demand plan via the bulk import export on SoStocked. In order to get here, you're going to go on settings, click bulk import export, which will take you to this page. At that point, select demand plan and download. From there, it will actually download or create a brand new download of all your different products, which then the Excel document will look something like this. Now, starting on the left, all of your products will be exported and it will most likely in your case, this will be blank. It won't have any of these numbers in here. I've already implemented a demand plan to this one. That's why there are numbers in this. Uh, it will also show you your marketplaces as well as, or marketplaces and regions, and if they are a marketplace or region. Moving over to the right, something to pay attention to is that each of these are weeks. Our weeks start Monday and end on Sunday. Now, why would somebody use a demand plan? The reason for this is that people, and a lot of times uh, companies and larger enterprises want to predict or tell SoStocks how many they think are gonna be sold, and then use SoStocks forecasting algorithm on top of that demand plan, which is the point of this feature. So moving forward, each of these are going to be a week and it goes through 52 weeks in a year, and you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to the week end dates that are appearing here. Up at the top, you'll notice an underlined today, which meaning that is the week that you're in. And you'll want to pay attention because sometimes the today week might be week eight. So for example, if you're in February, it may be column O and not column H. So do pay attention to what week you're in as well as what the week end dates are because this might be in 2025 or if you're watching this in 2025, this might be in 2026, etc. And the reason for that is that this, setting up the system like this to have a understanding that these are always going to be the same weeks of week one of the year allows the system to process the data and your uploads to happen much quicker. So do pay attention to what week you are in for that day. Now, what does the data, how does it calculate? Again, it goes Monday through Sunday. Those are the start and end dates of the week. And this is the week total. So we think we're gonna sell 14 in that week, meaning that two per day will be sold. 14 divided by seven is two. And so on and so forth throughout the year. Now, when you're ready, after you've updated your demand plan, when you're ready to upload, you are going to want to delete any of the columns that are not required. So I'll zoom out. So all these columns, I don't want to upload a demand plan to. So I'm going to delete these. And this will not delete those forecasts. This won't affect it. This is just telling us these are the only ones that you want to upload a demand plan to. Once you're done, definitely make sure to click Save. At that point, you scroll down to the bottom. You select Demand Plan Weekly Schedule. And then you upload your document that you just saved and click Upload. At that point, you will see this pop-up appears. Now, all this pop-up is saying is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, do you want auto seasonality off? And we always suggest having auto seasonality off when using demand plans because they might fight with each other. Now, if you want to keep it on, by all means, simply uncheck the box. It's simple as that. But what this button means is that when you upload this, if for whatever reason on the forecast, for example, let's say this had a manual velocity selected, this will automatically change the velocity to a demand plan using the numbers that you are about to upload in that Excel document. Now, if you just want to upload it and you don't want to change the velocity, simply click no, just upload it and we will save this demand plan to the database and you can at any other time go into the forecast and for example, let's say it was using the, the average velocities here, you can just simply select, you know, uh, upload a demand plan and save that, that action, okay? So once we're done, you can simply click use the demand plan and it will start uploading, okay? So you'll see it'll start processing. Depending on how long it takes, that process may take a lot of time, it may take a little bit of time, okay? So moving over to the forecast, I've already uploaded a demand plan so that we can look at it. And you'll see here, it'll be actually selecting demand plan. And if I expand it, now the demand plan has actually been uploaded throughout the timeline so that you can see how much sales and it's using those velocity numbers that I uploaded 
to the document. Now what's nice is over on the left, you're able to use whatever other kind of uh, forecasting variables that we already have built in on top of that demand plan. So now that you know how to upload demand plans, happy forecasting.